Hello students, welcome to the video class on Machine Tools Lab by the Department of Mechanical Engineering, TKMC. A machine tool is a stationary power operated device or a system of devices in which energy is expended to produce jobs of desired size, shape and surface finish by removing the excess material from the performed blanks in the form of chips with the help of cutting tools smooth past the work surface. Machine tools that form parts by removing the metal chips from a workpiece include lathes, shapers, planers, drilling machines, milling machines, grinders and power saws. Lathe machine is a production machine tool. Here today we will study definition, parts, operation, specification etc. of a lathe machine. A lathe machine is a machine tool that is used to remove metals from a workpiece to give a desired shape and size. The function of the lathe is to remove the metal in the form of chips from a piece of work by mounting the same rigidly on a machine spindle and revolving at a required speed and the cutting tool is fed against the work either longitudinally or crosswise to make the work to the required shape and size. A lathe machine tool consists of several parts like headstock, bed, tailstock, carriage, saddle, cross light, compound rest, tool post, apron, lead screw, feed road, chuck, main spindle and the leg. Now here we can go through some important parts. Bed is the base or foundation of the lathe. It is a heavy rigid casting made in one piece. In majority of cases, the beds are made of grey casting, nodular casting or high strength wear resistant casting. It holds or supports all other parts of the lathe. The bed consists of two heavy metal slides running lengthwise. Its upper surface is either scrapped or grounded and the guiding and the sliding surfaces are provided. The bed is rigidly supported by cross grids. The three major units mounted on a bed are headstock, tailstock and the carriage. The legs support at both ends of the bed and they are used to carry all the loads of the machine. They are bolted on the floor by foundation bolts which prevents vibration. The headstock is situated at the left hand side of the lathe bed and it is the house of the driving mechanism and electrical mechanism of the lathe machine too. All the lathe machines receives their power through the headstock which is equipped with the gear drives. There is a hole throughout the spindle for handling long bar work. Now let us look into the spindle. The work holding devices like chuck, face plate etc are fixed in the spindle. Here you can see a three jaw chuck is on the spindle. We can rotate the spindle in either clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. All the lathe machines receives their power through the headstock which may be equipped with a step con pulley or a gear head drive. The control switch in headstock allows to change the direction of rotation of spindle. Here we can see both rotations clearly. The tailstock is a movable casting located opposite to the headstock on the base of the bed. The tailstock can slide along the bed to accommodate different lengths of workpiece between the centers. A tailstock clamp is provided to lock the tailstock at any desired position. Tailstock have a hand wheel which helps to move the tailstock spindle to and fro. This movement of the spindle can be controlled by a spindle clamping lever at the top. The tailstock spindle has an internal taper to hold the dead center and the taper shank tools such as reamers and drills. Here you can see a revolving center is inserted in the spindle of the tailstock. 
This revolving center helps to support the workpiece during turning operation. We will see it later during our practical session. The carriage is located between the headstock and tailstock and serves the purpose of supporting, guiding and feeding the tool against the job during operation. Let us look into the main parts of the carriage. The saddle is an H-shaped casting mounted on the top of lathe base. It provides support to cross slide, compound rest and the tool post. The cross slide is mounted on the top of the saddle and it provides a mounted or automatic cross movement for the cutting tool. The cross slide rides on the carriage and has a feed screw which travels at right angles to the main spindle axis. This permits facing operations to be performed and the depth of cut to be adjusted. The compound rest is fitted on the top of cross slide and is used to support the tool post and the cutting tool. The compound rest is also known as the top slide. It provides a smaller amount of movement along its axis through another feed screw. The compound rest axis can be adjusted independently of the carriage or cross slide. It is used for turning tapers to control depth of cut when unscrewing or precision facing or to obtain finer feeds than the feed shaft permits. Usually the compound rust has a protractor marked in its base enabling the operator to adjust its axis to a precise angle. It can easily be swelled or rotated and clamped at any desired angle as like this. Once the compound rust is set at the desired half taper angle, the rotation of the compound slide screw will cause the tool to be fed at that angle and generate the corresponding taper. This method is limited to turn a short but steep taper because of the limited movement of the cross slide. The tool post is mounted on the compound rest and it rigidly clamps the cutting tool or tool holder at the proper height relative to the work center line. The apron is fastened to the saddle and it houses the gears, clutches and levers required to move the carriage or the close slide. The engagement of split nut lever and the automatic feed lever at the same time is prevented by the carriage along the lathe bed.